sports fans, welcome to the OU Football Preview Show. I'm Rick Heath, with me Al Eschbach, and we are at Bar Cicchetti in Deep Deuce, a great place to come have wonderful food, watch Monday Night Football or any sporting event on the big screen, and have drink specials by wonderful distilleries every day here at Bar Cicchetti in Deep Deuce. Al, this week brings up remembrances of the game of the century because OU Nebraska are playing the 50th anniversary of that 1971 game of the century. What do you remember that about that game? Well, I'm a young guy just getting out of college and uh, you can imagine impact on me. I'm reading the Oklahoma Journal and I get to cover that game. Wow. So I get to do the OU locker room story after the game. So, 35-31, Nebraska wins in Norman. Uh, it just leading up to that game, you can't you can't believe what it was like in Norman, and it was just it was unbelievable. Uh, you're, you're part of the game of the century. Oh, you lose. I remember. I got to do a locker room story going into. Oh, you. It's not like it is now. You go into the locker room. You interview every player at that locker. You talk to the coaches, and it was like. Doomsday. I mean, it was. Uh, well, it was number one, number two, and it was for the national championship, basically. Basically, uh, yeah. The winner would go to the Orange Bowl, play Alabama, the loser would go play Auburn in the Sugar Bowl. And uh, Nebraska drives, goes, scores with uh, like 30 seconds left in the game. And I took the Barry Switzer this week, and what he said, remember, on the first play at the Oklahoma, got the ball back. Jack Milgen hit a wide, uh, just missed a wide open. Johnny Harrison would have been a touchdown. Oklahoma would have won the game. Oh, wow. Well, you know, and, and Jack Milgen was one of the stars there, my former partner, your former broadcast partner. Uh, but there were a lot of other big time stars. What a collection of talent on that field 50 years ago this year. Hey, we are at Bar Chichetti for the OU Football Preview Show. We'll be back right after this. Hey, Neighborhood Jams in Norman and in Oklahoma City. There's three locations now. Norman on Main Street next to the railroad tracks in Midtown in Oklahoma City on 150th and North Penn. And it's the same great food on Neighborhood Jams. Whether it's breakfast, lunch, or brunch, it's always great at Neighborhood Jams. The breakfast is with biscuits as big as a plate and the brunches on Saturday and Sunday. They can't go wrong at Neighborhood Jams. Three great locations in the Oklahoma City metro area, one in Norman, one in Midtown, and one on 150th and North Penn in Oklahoma City. 1978, before the internet, before cell phones, that's when Basie's Roofing was founded. A lot has changed since then, but what hasn't is Basie's commitment to helping customers just like you deal with damage to their roofs and home after a storm. You never pay up front and there's absolutely zero risk. It's been that way since 1978. Now maybe we're a little old fashioned, but if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And if it is broke, well, give us a call. Basie's Roofing, the name you can trust. If you're looking for a great tasting club special at your favorite golf club or bar, ask for a Oklahoma club special made with Prairie Wolf Vodka, distilled right here in Oklahoma in Guthrie, Oklahoma. That's Prairie Wolf Distillery, Guthrie, Oklahoma. At Laser Light Skin Clinic, our most popular treatment is now more affordable than ever. Right now, you can save up to 50% on Cool Sculpting, the number one choice for non invasive fat reduction. Our flexible treatment plans allow you to choose the option that is perfect for you. Focus on a single problem area or revive your life with a fresh new you. These are real results. For your personal Cool Sculpting consultation, call Laser Light Skin Clinic today. A new you awaits. Let me tell you about a great company, locally owned, Crutcho Creek Sod Farm, in business here for over 35 years. They're locally owned and operated, and they have Bermuda, Tiff, Fescue, even AstroTurf. They do delivery, installation, they do seeding, and hydro mulching. Everything to make your yard the beautiful yard you want it to be, whether it's a land reclamation or just your yard being resodded. Crutcho Creek Sod Farm can do it. Give them a call today. That's Crutcho Creek Sod Farm, 35 years, locally owned and operated here in Oklahoma City. 
Let me talk about one of my favorite places in Deep Deuce to eat and drink, and that's Bar Ticetti. Bar Ticetti with great menu, and they're featuring a wonderful brunch. If you haven't had brunch yet at Bar Ticetti, you gotta do it. It's available on Sundays. Wonderful new menu for brunch, and it is inventive and creative, and it changes every week. So if you're looking for a great place for a brunch, Bar Ticetti on Northeast 2nd and Deep Deuce, great place to go for brunch. And during the week, they have great dinner specials as well as drink specials every day at Bar Ticetti, Northeast 2nd Street in Deep Deuce. Also, they have the biggest big screen in Oklahoma City to watch your favorite sporting events. So if you're looking for food, drinks, and sports, go to Bar Ticetti, Northeast 2nd Street in Deep Deuce. Hey, if you want to follow us along and see our show online, we have a YouTube channel, we have Facebook channel, and we have Twitter. So if you're looking to follow us during the game, Twitter will be the way to go. If you're looking for our show, YouTube and Facebook all have access to our show, and we have them on the channel. So on the big screen, follow us and be a part of the OU Football Preview Show with Al Eschback and Rick Heath. Welcome back, Rick Heath, Al Esback, talking about the game of the century here on the OU Football Preview Show. I know this is a preview show, but we have to go back and talk to one of the few people that covered that game in 1971. Maybe the only media guy out in the Oklahoma City metro area is still media that covered that well, game. Well, I'm sure that's true, yeah. Uh, and again, I was a young dude, and here I am covering the game of the century. It couldn't get any bigger meeting people from all over the country that came in. Can you imagine what it would be like now if they had that? I mean, with all the internet and the, the, the all of the stations and all the people that cover well, it? Well, it, a lot of times in big games, it doesn't live like up to the billing. But this game was the game of the century. It, it lived up to the billing. It, it, well, just think of who, all right, Jerry Taggy was the quarterback for Nebraska. Jeff Kinney was the uh, tailback. Uh, and, and Rich Glover, Rich Glover uh, on defense. John Dutton, uh, Jacobson, Larry Jacobson. Uh, all of them went uh, on. To uh, and that was considered career. one of the greatest defenses of all time uh, in college football, leading up to that game. And OU scored. Shirts. OU scored 31 again. As I talked to then a young offense coordinator, Barry Switzer. As I told him this week, he's disappointed they only got 31 points on him. Well, you know, they, OU averaged 470 something yards rushing they, that they, year. They, wrote, they did wreck, they, they set records that would be broke, broken yeah, again. I mean, Greg, so Greg Pruitt averaged over uh, nine yards a carry. Yeah, 9.4 yards a carry. I mean, that was unbelievable. Uh, you know, and John Harrison, I mean, he didn't catch many passes, but. You know, he was still instrumental in that, you know, in that season because every time they they would fake the run and pull back, I mean, Harrison was open because everybody was coming. Well, out. I remember back that year they beat USC, Kim I know you beat uh, 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 USC, a really great OU team, uh, USC team. And at the game, Barry told me, Jack Miller was really upset. He only threw the ball once. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he came to OU to throw the ball. Yeah, you're right, exactly. <laughs> he got to throw it once. What are you complaining about? That's what Barry said. <laughs> but anyway, Greg Pruitt, outstanding running back, um, you know, and the rest of them for OU. I mean, just a wonderful, wonderful memories of that game. Now, pushing it forward 50 years, Nebraska is not anywhere near what they were. But they still have a great heritage. What happened? Coaching. When I was born, when I was born, left uh, it was it. They they won three national championships in the nineties. Uh, they were a dominant football program. Also, they left the option. Massive mistake. Yeah, you know, and and that was one of the things that that they were so good at, you know. Um, and and now Nebraska comes in, Scott Frost and his group. You know, they just don't have the same talent level that they had in those days, obviously. Not a lot of people don't, I mean, because they were a dominant program. But OU, on the other hand, now was thriving under Lincoln Riley, and they've got an outstanding offensive uh, team and a, a defense that has rapidly proven but, to but be... But OU, at the switch was gone, you sure what happened there. Yeah, yeah. So, so that went down too. It went bit. down, and then they made a great hire in hiring Bob Stoops. Yeah, and he brought it back, and Lincoln Riley's done. Handed off to Lincoln Riley, and, and they they 
They should be the best program in the Big Ten West. They definitely, they should be better than Wisconsin. They should be better than Iowa. Nebraska should be, but it's, I it's, don't know. I mean, it, it, I mean it, it, Scott Frost came there, and we thought, all thought that was the perfect hire. And a he just horrific came, hire. Yeah, a, a, it's, it's turned and, into a And bad just a hire. few years before that, Bo Pelini was winning 90 10 games there. Yeah. They got they rid got, of him. They got rid of Bo Pelini. Yeah. They got rid of Frank Solich. And Solich played for the national championship in 2001. Yeah. You know, and, but that wasn't good enough. They thought they could do better. And now, 20 years later, they have nothing. And and Scott Force will be gone. I mean, yeah. Yeah. unless miraculously he can win some games this year. And in it, the Big Ten. In the Big Ten. Yeah. Uh, but. It, it, it's really sad. The fans are great. The Nebraska fans are absolutely tremendous. They're, fans. They're, I've gone up there for games, and I mean, they are the most accommodating. They're 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 real. They're real in their you know welcoming of you. Yes. You know, uh, you yeah. go to some place and go, hey, yeah, good to see you. <laughs> Get out of here, yeah. kid. But they're not in Nebraska. They welcome you. Yeah, and, you know? and, and this got to be really tough, especially one of their own. Scott Frost. Uh, yeah, you know, yeah, and, and one of their own that they thought was going to bring them back. But is it, look, hey, we've talked enough about that. Let's talk about, the, uh, again, on the offensive side for OU, Spencer Rattler against Western Carolina, of course, looked more like the Spencer yeah, Rattler. Yeah, I mean, he did, of course. That was like a JV team they were playing. Yeah, but well, he did what he had to do, and he looked really good, looked comfortable, and uh, uh, the, the whole offense looked really good. Uh, the whole team looked really good. Well, they, you know, it, it's what they needed to get going again. Hey, we're at Bar Chichetti here with the OU Football Preview Show, and they have a wonderful brunch on Sundays from 11 to 3 p.m. And here, here's what they prepare for you. Fresh prepared crepe filled with scrambled eggs, crispy sausage and bacon, melted cheese, house-made papadou hot sauce, and then garnish with maple syrup and fluffy whipped cream and a breakfast burger, a blended patty of breakfast sausage and Angus beef topped with crispy bacon, caramelized onion, American cheese, local greens, and a wonderful side of fries. All that at the Sunday brunch, which can't be beat here at Bar Chichetti from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. We'll be right back. You know what? We really should call Basie's Roofing about that repair. We only have a certain amount of time with the insurance company. Yep. Have you seen my phone anywhere? Hi, I'm here about the roof repair. How did you do that? I already contacted Basie's this morning. There's no better time than now to have your roof inspected. Contact Basie's today and a fast, friendly professional will be right over. Basie's Roofing, the name you can trust. Hey, if you want to follow us along and see our show online we have a youtube channel we have facebook channel and we have twitter so if you're looking to follow us during the game twitter will be the way to go if you're looking for our show youtube and facebook all have access to our show and we have them on the channel so on the big screen follow us and be a part of the ou football preview show with alice back and rick heath let me talk about one of my favorite places in deep deuce to eat and drink and that's bar to chetty Bar Chichetti with a great menu, and they're featuring a wonderful brunch. If you haven't had brunch yet at Bar Chichetti, you gotta do it. It's available on Sundays. Wonderful new menu for brunch, and it is inventive and creative, and it changes every week. So if you're looking for a great place for a brunch, Bar Chichetti on Northeast 2nd and Deep Deuce, great place to go for brunch. And during the week, they have great dinner specials as well as drink specials every day at Bar Chichetti, Northeast 2nd Street in Deep Deuce. Also, they have the biggest big screen in Oklahoma City to watch your favorite sporting events. So if you're looking for food, drinks, and sports, go to Bar Chichetti, Northeast 2nd Street in Deep Deuce. If you're looking for a great tasting club special at your favorite golf club or bar, ask for a Oklahoma club special made with Prairie Wolf Vodka distilled right here in Oklahoma in Guthrie, Oklahoma. That's Prairie Wolf Distillery, Guthrie, Oklahoma. At Laser Light Skin Clinic, our most popular treatment is now more affordable than ever. Right now, you can save up to 50% on Cool Sculpting, the number one choice for non-invasive fat reduction. Our flexible treatment plans allow you to choose the option that is perfect for you. Focus on a single problem area or revive your life with a fresh new you. These are real results. For your personal cool sculpting consultation, call Laser Light Skin Clinic today. A new you awaits. 
Let me tell you about a great company, locally owned, Crutcho Creek Sod Farm, in business here for over 35 years. They're locally owned and operated, and they have Bermuda, Tiff, Fescue, even AstroTurf. They do delivery, installation, they do seeding and hydro mulching. Everything to make your yard the beautiful yard you want it to be, whether it's a land reclamation or just your yard being resodded, Crutcho Creek Sod Farm can do it. Give them a call today. That's Crutcho Creek Sod Farm, 35 years, locally owned and operated here in Oklahoma City. Football preview show. Ricky Al is back from Bar Chichetti. And, and remember, Bar Chichetti has live music Thursdays and Sundays. Sundays during the brunch and Thursdays from 7 to 9. Live music here at Bar Chichetti. And they feature Wander Folk Spirits. Wander Folk Spirits distilled in Guthrie, Oklahoma. It's a wonderful, wonderful distillery. Had Prairie Wolf Spirits and now they've ventured into a new realm. Old Moses Bourbon. Uh, Wander Folk Gin Vodka. Uh, it's a wonderful different diversion of spirits that you can get right here at Bar Chichetti by the Wander Folk Spirit. Out, you know, much like what OU game plan should look like. Establish a run, or how do you look at that game plan for Nebraska coming up Saturday? Well, you should be able to do whatever you want. Nebraska is not a good team they're playing. Uh, so you, I think you just go through a normal game plan. You, you try to mix it up, uh, both run and, 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 and passing. And uh, uh, just, they're, they're probably better on defense than they are on offense. So we'll, we will see. Uh, well, that's but, the, you know, they had the big, play, a big Ten player of the defensive player of the week last week and the Reimer, their linebacker. So they got some defensive players. Yeah, yeah, they got some defensive players. So you just mix, you just mix it up offensively. Uh, okay, Nebraska Tulane. Where are they? Probably at? about the same. That's what I was wanting. So uh, you should have beat Tulane by three touchdowns. You're a three touchdown favorite in this game. And and they should they should win that if they play up to their yeah. capabilities. Yeah, I mean, they should, they uh, should cover th that. this Nebraska team lost to a horrible Illinois team. Yeah, yeah, and that you know, and and they've come back and went a bit against some inferior teams. Yeah, won two games against inferior teams, but at the same time, you know, they are Nebraska, so you got to give them respect. But you should take control or try to if you're OU. Yeah, early the game. Back. Yeah, uh, they This is a game where I think the Tulane game was tough to get the players' attention. This will get their attention because they'll talk about the history and they are in Nebraska and this and that. So that I think it'll be easier, uh, and the, there'll be fans and the, the stadium will be packed. And everything so and that gonna, will help. And they're doing they're gonna they're gonna honor some of the players before the a lot game. of them are coming back to seventy uh, you know, seventy one game teams, from, from Nebraska both teams. And, yeah, you know, and Johnny and Rogers wanted money to come back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, that's Johnny Rogers. Yeah, he, he won't answer the phone without. Uh, Getting getting some money, but anyway, I I, I digress. But um, OU's offensive, you know, to me they should establish control of the game right off the bat. Go down, you know, a good score. Get in rhythm. Get in rhythm. Yes, get in rhythm. Whether it's throwing or or Kennedy Brooks, Kennedy Brooks coming out. Uh, speaking of, he's the only running back OU has had that gets anywhere near. Greg Pruitt's nine yards. Oh, I carry. know. You're right. He's the only one yep. that's ever. I mean, you're right. All the great running yeah. backs OU's had. Yeah, two years ago he was over it for a uh, while yeah. until the last couple of games. Yeah, and then he's barely came under. It's like yeah. eight, eight point two or something. No, like that's what he ended he's, up. He's he, he's so good. He he doesn't look spectacular, but boy, he just uh, he just makes yards. He just I mean, makes he, yards. He is the most. Um, Confident as he runs, great he vision. Sees everything, and he makes yards when there's when nobody else. Sees great, yards. great vision. And I wish Eric Gray looked good last week. Well, Eric Gray is going to be another good. Show the burst. You know, and hey, and hey, and uh, Mr. Hall coming in from his H back position to the tail back position to spell those guys. I think you'll see a few more of those yeah. as the season progresses. No doubt about it. Yeah, Lincoln. Lincoln has had to do a lot of things right now, but 
Uh, you got West Virginia with the Big 12 season starting in a week, and so, uh, yeah, Lincoln's going to have some things going on. Yeah, and Rattler settled in last week and showed, you know, what everybody thought he might be as a Heisman candidate that he didn't quite show. And got, he, he, he got a lot of receivers right. involved. Yeah, receivers involved. Hey, we are at Bar Chichetti here in Deep Deuce. You got to come down and enjoy the wonderful menu, the great drink specials, and the wonderful brunch on Sundays from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. We'll be right back. Chichetti, OU football preview show. Rick Heath, Al Eschback. Uh, speaking of brunches, if you're looking for a brunch and you're not around Bar Chichetti and you can't make it down here, well, Neighborhood Jams is where you need to find. There are three new Neighborhood Jams around, one in Norman, one at Midtown in Oklahoma City, and one at 150th and North Penn. The same great food from Neighborhood Jams are at all the Neighborhood Jams locations, and it's fantastic. It's great for breakfast and lunch, 6.30 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. every day. Neighborhood Jam's a great place to get your fix of food on. Now the OU defense started settling in after those first two drives against Tulane and played pretty good. Western Carolina was not, a, was not even a test, hardly. Um, but I look for the OU, I mean the defense, to really, really take an opportunity to shine this. Well, they stopped mass substitution. Yeah, that they did against Tulane. That helps. So the the players got to settle in. Uh, I, I I I thought the linebackers played better, but again, it was Western Carolina. Uh, but the defensive front is really good. Bowman, Benny, Billy Bowman is not going to be playing this week. But so McCutcheon Cadell started. will be playing. McCutcheon started. I know the freshman uh, uh, cornerback. And he, he played well, and so that's a good sign for the defense. And the linebackers played better. Again, it was uh, Western Carolina, but uh, I, I think that first game with the mass substitution was just, uh, yeah, I, it was hard to settle yeah, in. Nebraska's quarterback, Adrian Martinez, yeah. is pretty good. The, the key is he can't throw a lick. Yeah. So all he can do is, the, when I watched Miss Illinois, the only play he made was he went drop back and then took off. Uh, I don't think they'll put a spy on him. That will be the biggest thing uh, when they're, they're playing him. Uh, he can go back and pass, and then nothing's open, and he will take off well, on he's you. He's more of a runner than a passer, that's for yeah. sure. So he's a guy that hasn't gotten better in four years. You know, he looked good as a freshman and thought, wow, what's this guy? Yep. Gonna, he's going to lead him on, you know, and all of a sudden, he, he's just no. I don't it know was terrible like against Illinois. I, I mean, absolutely if, terrible. I don't know if it's lack of coaching or what, but he didn't look very good. Hey, I've got some uh, over and under thoughts here for for OU's offense and defense. Okay, Rattler, 250 yards. Over. Over. Okay, Brooks, 100 yards. Under. That's what I'm thinking because he got 80 last week. Gray, 80 yards. Uh, under. Under. That's what I'm thinking too. Uh, Mim, 6.5 catches. He got one last week. Under. Under. <laughs> yeah. There's so many people. Too many people out there. Too I mean, many people. And so, um, TD, 7.5. Ooh, that's a lot of points. Uh, I'm going to go under. Okay. So, under 50? Yeah. Okay. Under 50. All right. And then uh, turnovers. OU defense. I got 2.5. I'll go over. Okay, so three turnovers yeah. or more? Yeah. You got Adrian Martinez, quarterback. It's right. <laughs> and if he throws, he's going to throw it up. Yeah. Uh, anyway, so we're looking for the OU defense to shine. We're looking for the OU offense to settle in and, and start getting that rhythm for the Big 12 Conference. Absolutely, yeah. Start finding that rhythm so when they go into the Big 12 Conference game against West Virginia, they know what they're wanting to do and, that, and the people to do it. Offensive line settled in? Yeah, you, I think so. It looks like Kanju might have won the center slot. We'll see. Uh, uh, and uh, they, 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 the uh, Wanya Morris got time at left tackle. Yeah. Trained from Tennessee. Yeah. So all that's starting to get. get yeah, yeah, yeah. You got, and, and by the time you, you go to Kansas State, particularly, you got to know what you, you, you're doing. You know, and so what you're needing to do with this game is come out with a good feeling about your offense, your defense. You know the special teams are great. Oh my goodness, yeah. With Burkitt. 
So all you want to do is start establishing that rhythm to get you in the Big 12. Yeah, that's it, and get nobody hurt. Nobody hurt, no injuries, win and do it the right Absolutely. way. Absolutely. Make it clean, no silly penalties, no silly busts. And my prediction is 49-14. 42-14. 42-14, 49-14, that's it. Hey, for OU Football Preview Show. From Bart to Chetty, where if you want to have the best food and best drink specials in Deep Deuce, come to Bart to Chetty. We'll see you next time on the OU Football Preview Show.